Good evening or good morning, world. I know, Fanny Chick. Fuck, I don't even hold my necklace on. It's regardless, I've got a uh, a letter that I received in the mail. Like, uh, let's look as crazy as possible. Yeah. <clears throat> From Judge De Jerome S. Hennigan. Yeah, that fucked hard. Yeah. Dear Miss My Wife and Mr. Me, if you want to set the motion to vacate, which, well, you know, we've done it twice now, a year ago and here on December 15th, and that fucking piece of shit judge you know, wanted to bring the prosecuting attorney in on it, even though, even on the second time, me and, well, the respondent, me, and the applicant, my significant other, were uh, pro se. He, he wanted the prosecuting attorney's office in on it. And even though their name's not on the top of the fucking order, you know, because he's a piece of fucking shit. But let's read his letter. If you want to set the motion to vacate, vacate again, I will reconsider the motion. Mr. Dinsmore, that's me. Whether I grant the motion will depend largely on your attitude. Open parentheses, which was certainly not great close parentheses, when you appeared before. I will also expect that you will admit to the allegations in Miss Lily, or my significant other's, affidavit. You will say you are sorry, and you will say that it will never happen again. Now, I'm just going to stop there real quick. And... We're going to talk about how a motion to vacate, vacate, excuse me, is when two people in a civil matter wish to vacate whatever order was granted them in a civil dispute. And that vacation uh, motion or order is not dependent upon anything else except for the respondent or the applicant's desire to vacate the order. And for a judge to demand certain, uh, certain, I'm lost for words, I apologize, certain uh, stipulations to the vacation of the order, is absolutely fucking bullshit. He's an abusive, piece of shit, controlling, manipulative cocksucker. Yes, I said it, you fucking judge. You're a cock smoker. Go fuck yourself, you fucktard. Let's finish the letter. I tried very hard to suggest you say those things before which is not his fucking job to do. His simple job is to either grant or deny a motion. It's not to sit there and get somebody to admit or not to admit to this or that. It's simply to grant or deny motions. You fucking fucktard. And you were seemingly more interested in telling me the things that meant that my significant other, did wrong and trying to be funny. Well, you know what, you piece of fucking shit, Jerome S. Hennigan? I was trying to be, bring levity to court. I'm so fucking sorry, you piece of fucking fucktard. You asked me how to spell your name. I said Y-O-U-R-N-A-M-E. And you can go fuck yourself, you fucking piece of fucking filth. All right, back to the letter. The protective order against you. 
I am not concerned at this point over what your significant other did wrong or what she may have omitted from her affidavit. Well, you know what? That should be what you are fucking concerned about. If she omitted certain details from her affidavit, or if she didn't tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth will help her God, that's exactly what you should be fucking concerned about, you fucking piece of fucking fucktard filth. That's your fucking job. <laughs> That's your fucking job. Back to the letter. I expect this hearing to consist of about three questions from me and your affirmation or your affirmative answers to all of them. I expect no bickering between the two of you. But well, we didn't bicker the first time we came to court, and we didn't bicker the second time we came to court. So what you telling us that we should we're bickering between us <laughs> making shit up aren't you you fucktard let's go back the hearing should take about three minutes or less next paragraph if this is something you think you can do please call my coordinator at blah 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 to set a hearing if you cannot do it there is no reason to set another hearing. Sincerely, Jer Jeremy S. Hennigan. Well, the only reason that judge, Jerome S. Hennigan, wants me in court is because that's where he has control over me. And that's where he can decide on a whim that he can throw me in contempt of court I believe uh, the state says 180 days max. With I mean, when you when you're thrown in contempt of court and you're thrown in jail, uh, they can put you in jail for 180 days, and and those 180 days don't mean shit. I mean, it doesn't go against anything. They can just do it on a whim because they're fucktards like Jerome S. Hennigan is. He's a fucking piece of fucking cock-smoking shit. All right. Well, I've said my piece. Now, I've wrote him a letter, and I'd like to read it to you. Dear Judge Jerome S. Hennigan, December 26, 2014. His letter was written to me uh, December 18th. I disrespectfully decline your offer. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Hello, brother, exclamation point. How are you doing this fine Christmas and New Year? May I suggest that you take your desire to revisit my significant others and my motion to vacate and shove it up your fucking ass? With my fucking blessing, blessing, of course. My significant other has brought this fucking motion to vacate before your fucking farce of a court twice now. And as pro se, and you still wish to fucking, now this is all capital right here, dictate and fucking abuse like a piece of fucking, all capital, shit. You are. You fucking violated not only my fucking civil and human rights, but you also violated my significant others' civil and human right. So go, all capital, fuck yourself, about five exclamation points. I am certain you read the letter I sent the prosecuting district attorney's office where I spelled out the truth of this fucking case, and for you to, all capital, demand that I do anything is, all capital, fucking absurd. Uh, probably about five or six exclamation points. You, all capital, fucktard. About, I don't know, seven exclamation points. All capital, go fuck yourself. 
about four exclamation points, and then please with another four exclamation points. And one day realize that the, all capital, pain and woe you cause others, because of this, all capital, farce you call a, all capital, court, will one day manifest into a trial and tribulation before your, all capital, God, you, all capital, pray to. Sincerely, a man who absolutely loves and cares about you, despite you being a piece of fucking shit. My name, flip side, my phone number, my email address. P.S. Uh, comma, uh, open quotations. The moment you fucking realize that you are no better than every other human being on this planet is the moment that you will become a, all capital, Fucking man, exclamation point. Quit, all capital, fucking, using your position to manipulate, control, and abuse other human beings in this world, comma, all capital, please, exclamation point, close quotes. Also, colon, I do a daily vlog on YouTube, exclamation point. If you haven't had the all capital fucking pleasure, comma, please check it out. Type the palindrome, uh, lost for words, sorry, uh, type the palindrome, um, colon, open parentheses, you know what a palindrome is, comma, don't you, comma, you, all capital, fucking, piece of fucking shit, all capital, fucktard, uh, four uh, exclamation points, close parentheses. And then I, you know, one space, Astron Norza. Well, if you're watching this, you know what my, uh, you know how to find me. Astron Norza, it's a palindrome. A-S-T-R-O-N-N-O-R-T-S-A. And then into the YouTube search bar. And all you will find is me. I have a great vlog for you to peruse the day your fucking ass saw me in court on the 15th of December, 2014. Please enjoy. Uh, about five uh, exclamation points. PPS, comma, open quotes. I was going to be all nice and shit when I responded to your fucking letter, yet I demurred and digressed. Please enjoy my constitutional First Amendment words and thoughts, you all capital fucktard. And be thankful that I am not a vigilante and only use words to express my thoughts. I don't know, about seven or eight exclamation points, close quotes. And then finally, the last part, if you have any questions or concerns, please never hesitate in contacting me. You thought I would be a dumbass and show up in your fucking court where you could abuse me, didn't you? Fucking, all capital, fucktard. Uh, about four exclamation points. And then in each letter I also wrote, uh, you know that, uh, that this protective order is invalid uh, simply for the fact, and I, I didn't write in detail, but they know that, uh, that as a respondent and the fact that uh, the sheriff's department while I was uh, in Parker County or Tarrant County Jail did not, uh, when I got a citation notice of hearing, did not take me to court, uh, which made which makes the, process, the protective order invalid in the first place. And they know this because they're fucking fucktards. All right, we're at 1425. <sighs> it's the fucking bullshit that people fight to try to fucking do to other people in this fucking world. It fucking consumes me with fucking... <clears throat> <sighs> Yet, I demur and digress. <laughs> I truly do love each and every one of you. I truly do love this 
Jerome S. Hennigan, Judge, you're not better than anyone else. We are all equals on this planet. We all are the caretakers of this world. And for you to think that you're above me, and you think you can get me into your fucking courtroom where you can fucking abuse me, go fuck yourself, you piece of fucking filth fuck talk. And take your prosecuting district attorney's office and shove it up your fucking ass with my blessing. I do truly love each and every one. Carpe diem. As always. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs>